Like a lot of you, um, I'm spending a lot of time in my kitchen. Uh, and I thought it might be fun for me to share with you one of my favorite easy, healthy, fresh meals. Uh, we're gonna make cauliflower fried rice with chicken and vegetables. I really love this dish because uh, A, uh, it doesn't take a lot of ingredients, B, it's super healthy, and it can be made in under 20 minutes or so. Oh. As this is heating up, I'm looking over my, my what we call mise en place, which just means your prep, the stuff that you had cut up, ready to go. And these are all things that I've had in my fridge. So in these times, I'm just kind of using up everything I have. I've got some green beans, I've got carrots, I've got some garlic, mushrooms, but this can be anything you have. So if you have like broccoli, peas, um, anything you've got going on is great. Uh, I'm gonna use chicken here as my protein. That can be also anything, tofu, beef, pork, shrimp, whatever you got. The cool thing we're using is cauliflower fried rice. So all you have to do to make cauliflower fried rice is put some florets in a food processor and pulse it until it becomes kind of that rice, almost that quinoa texture, and we're good to go. Uh, let's do this. So uh, my pan is getting hot. I can see the smoke slightly, and all I'm gonna do is coat the pan lightly with a high temperature oil. This is uh, avocado oil, but this can be canola oil. And because there's no raw meat in here, uh, I can kind of build this dish up um, by whatever it takes longer to heat up goes in first. And in this case, it's gonna be chicken. I'm using uh, cooked chicken here, because we've got some cooked chicken that's kind of just sitting in the fridge, uh, some chicken breast, and I want to use it up. It's really important that you maintain a constant sear. So if you're listening for that constant shh, that's a good thing. The beauty of the spray is I can add as I need and I'm not overwhelmed with a ton of oil. Cauliflower rice is going in. If you're using regular rice, you're not going to change the method much at all. You want to make sure your pan is searing, you want to get the rice in there just like so. Because I'm using cauliflower rice though, uh, cauliflower has a lot of moisture. I want to keep this pan definitely on the hot side. I've got one egg, and egg is lovely. It's basically liquid protein, and I like it because it coats the rice, as you can see, uh, adheres to it, coats it, and then as it cooks, it gets super light and fluffy. Man, this is smelling amazing. All right, so uh, let's stay with all our veggies. I've got uh, green beans, and now depending on the durability or the kind of the density of the of the vegetable, I'm going to add it in sooner. So green beans and carrots are durable, so they're kind of crunchy. So I want to give them a little extra time to cook. So I'll throw them in before. Now I've got my mushrooms, my garlic, and I'm going to save my scallions for the end as a garnish. If I was using raw chicken. Uh, I would have done my garlic first because I wanted to sear it up with that chicken. But because everything's gonna come together so quickly, I'm gonna put it in later. All right, so this is coming together. It's looking really beautiful. Now, in terms of seasoning, you have a few options. In this time of us not having the ability to go to the store as much as we want to, option one for salt is soy sauce. And I'm using a tamari, which gives me a gluten-free option. Option two is salt, obviously. Um, option three, if you have it, is kind of my go-to uh, Asian stir-fry sauce. This is called oyster sauce. And I don't like a fried rice that's super dark um, uh, with sauce, either oyster sauce or soy. I want the soy or the oyster to kind of give me a savoriness, a balance of umami, kind of that Asian flavor profile. Back that up with normal salt and then give it a little balance with a little white pepper. And that's it guys. I just want to make sure that I'm incorporating all of the ingredients in there nice and balanced. Now, and another technique I like to use is the back of my spoon. When, I'm, when I have a, a grain, a big air quotes by the way, I'm using cauliflower fried rice. If I have any lumps, I can use the back of the spoon to smash the lumps around and even it out. Same goes for rice. And I want to make sure everything's moving. And as you can tell, if you look, look to the bottom of the pan, my friends, um, I have no oil um, seepage because I'm using very little oil and I also don't have a lot of weeping from the cauliflower, meaning a lot of moisture. So how do I know this is delicious? It's time to taste. And you gotta promise me one thing, whenever you're cooking, uh, raise your right hand up, I'm watching all of you, and repeat after me, I promise to taste my food before I serve it. 
because that's the only way you're going to know and you've got one chance to make a good impression on, on your friends and your, uh, whoever you're serving. So here we go. Mm. I'm tasting for balance. I want the balance between saltiness, savoriness, and the flavor of all these delicious ingredients in the pan. So let's plate up. Um, wow, that was fast. I mean, that's kind of how fast and easy cooking really can be. Uh, I've got a totally uh, grain-free fried rice. Uh, I'm loaded with vegetables and with protein. This kind of is the perfect meal. Um, and again, if you are wanting to use a rice or grain, feel free, just throw it in, um, kind of just like we showed you. There it is, my friends. Cauliflower fried rice with chicken and vegetables. I am Jetila. Hope you guys had a fun cooking class with me today, and we'll see you next time.